Tonight at 6, concerned students at Quinnipiac, too many freshmen and just not enough space. And that's what some students are claiming as they're trying to move into study lounges instead of dorm rooms. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon has the details. It's not that heavy. Eduardo Bassani is moving into college. Thank you. An incoming freshman at Quinnipiac. He's showing us around his suite his first day after moving from Italy. At the moment, I like everything about it. But around 45 students aren't starting off this happy. Eduardo was originally put into a study lounge like this. Several students packed into a makeshift dorm room. Too many students, not enough space. Well, coming from uh, Europe uh, and, and staying uh, in a room with the other six people could be difficult because share a, a space in a new country. Uh, with uh, a lot of people, it's, uh, it could be a little bit tricky sometimes. Sophomore Andrew Reynolds, a reporter for the student-run TV station Q30, claims the school over-enrolled. Eight people in a room and they can kind of like see everything that you're doing. And you don't necessarily get any privacy. Um, so I'm curious, and also it's their bunk beds. The school believes the larger class size is due to recent athletic success and new facilities on campus. Chief Experience Officer Tom Ellett says he's working to get the 45 students into traditional dorm rooms. It is not uncommon that universities uh, have a usage of a lounge when you have a larger class than anticipated. You're talking a very tiny percentage of students. Some of it does have to do with privacy. The men's ice hockey team won the national championship in the spring and improvements are being made on campus right now. Good things are certainly happening at Quinnipiac, but some students believe the school didn't anticipate for this much of an increase in incoming freshmen. The school tonight believes the number of students in the study lounges will decrease before classes start next week, but it wouldn't say that number would be zero. In Hamden, I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.